Strategus' head of technical and macro research, Chris Ferrone, is here at Post 9 with me. Good to see you again. Great to be here. So you were last with me the very first trading day of 2024, we and here we are. We've got some new record highs. Now what? Well, I think what's interesting over that interim two or three weeks, it was a market that really chopped for about two weeks, yet our kind of big call was there was no meaningful selling pressure under the surface. You know, when you're looking for a change in the character of the market, you're looking for really strong down days where decliners overwhelm advancers, and there was just none of that. It looked like a healthy, normal consolidation from that momentum surge in the fourth quarter. So we've seen this market break out. You can kind of get to 5,100 in terms mm -hmm. of technical targets if you want to circle uh, mm -hmm. um, a level kind of in the distance. But for us, it's always about what is the character of a move? And I look to look to the cyclicals or the defensives, and this is a market still largely led by cyclicality. I think as long as that's the case, don't fight the trend. Well, hasn't the character of, of this move changed in, in yeah. some respects? We had this broadening yeah. out. A lot of people were looking at small caps. Now, obviously, today they're, they're outperforming, but that trade looked like it was fizzling, and money was just going right back to the tried and true mega caps. I, I think there's actually a pretty remarkably attractive period for small caps in terms of them being timely. You had a epic momentum surge in the fourth quarter. You've consolidated that with a 6% correction, almost like so what, right? Right. We're into support, 200 days upward sloping. I like the fact the last couple of days you've begun to see some renewed leadership from the smalls today in particular. And, you know, look at this group, right? Small caps, it's banks. Banks drive it. And I think the way the banks have responded, not just the last couple of days again starting to work, but really the entire fourth quarter is suggestive of some small cap leadership here. It's funny you say that because, I mean, I just had a conversation with a highly regarded yeah. and respected wealth manager who <laughs> says watch out for the regionals because of all of the commercial uh, exposure. You know, something we always do in our work, we pay special attention to what the consensus perceives to be the weakest part of the market, right? So whether that's regional banks right now or office REITs, and we simply ask the question, are they behaving as if they're the weakest part of the market? And I think you could say pretty comfortably right now, neither the regional banks or the REITs are behaving as if they are still the weakest part of the market. So I think that's a testament to strength. Is it? I just wonder, like REITs are, are performing well because rates have come down. Regionals are performing better because the economic outlook has stabilized and the Fed's already come to the rescue once and there's no reason to believe if something substantial sort of melted up again that it wouldn't. Well, take banks broadly here. Something like 80 percent of banks right now are in an uptrend. That's the best reading in two and a half years. So the underlying technicals of the group give us confidence that a pullback or a correction in financials or in banks would be one you would want to buy here. I mean, the other place where you've seen really important internal improvement is healthcare. And I think importantly, healthcare strength is not extending to the other defensive groups. So this is just not some move into defensive healthcare or defensive future staples. This is healthcare working on its own right, which is a change in terms of what the leadership fabric of this market's been. You want to tell me what the not just technical aspect of this move in semis means, but you know this the macro reasons or. What justifies this move? And maybe there's plenty. I'm not. I'm not trying to throw stones at it. Um, it just continues to blow the mind. I think what's important. We know the story of Nvidia. We know the story of AMD. It's getting broader than that. I mean, the breakout in Taiwan Semi in the last 48 hours is meaningful. Well, last I mean, week. look, right. their guide last week is one of the reasons why tech sort of got restarted. In, importantly, equal weight technology. So, you know, moving away from just Nvidia or Microsoft, equal weight tech just made new relative highs versus S&P today. So. This is not seven stocks in tech or five stocks in tech. It's actually pretty broad. And I, I recognize enthusiasm on groups like Semi is probably high here. And it's something one probably. must be, or, or is high. <laughs> it's one, it's something one must be mindful of in the first quarter, first half of the year. But mm -hmm. it's hard to position against it until you begin to see the relative leadership deteriorate, of, of which has not happened yet.